Hey guys, it's Tiger here. Before this video starts, I want you guys to click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know when all my videos come out. Enjoy! Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video of Say It Explained. So, I know the series hasn't been doing that well, like, during views, but I plan to still do the series no matter what because I want to explain basically everything because it's really important to me and I hope maybe one day it'll... people will like it someday. But yeah, without further ado, I am super, super, duper excited about this episode. I don't know why, I have a feeling... Um, I actually don't know what happens in this episode, so, so yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get into the the episode. Hi, uh, mom. I, I wasn't able to get you flowers yesterday, but uh, I thought I'd come back to give you some today. I... <clears throat> Sorry, I uh... I wish you were here. And I wish I could just ask you why you did what you did. <sighs> understand. I want you to make me understand. <laughs> I love you, Mom. It's so weird just hearing myself sing. Like, I'm triggered right now. <sighs> I miss having an intro! Oh. Hey, sport, how you holding up? <sighs> Look, I know how you must feel. How I feel? You don't even visit her. Maxie, I... I know. You were busy. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about what happened with Savannah. I don't really want to. Max. I'm gonna be late for school. Okay. I don't know why, but it's so hard for me to, like, process, like, what happened last season, like, with Savannah and everything, because it's so, like, surreal. And by what I mean, like, with that is, like, I've been in that situation, 
and it was the most terrifying thing ever. <laughs> um, but like, obviously I've never really told anyone that I've been in that situation. And if my parent or parents were, you know, asking me to like talk about it, I would have been like, you're crazy. Like, there's nothing to say. I don't know what to say. I'm just happy that she's alive. She's well, blah, 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 you know? And I get, I know like Tobias wants to help Maxine. It's just like, bro, <laughs> this is like deja vu all over for her again, you know, losing her mom and then almost like seeing Savannah to like the same like thing, like committing suicide. Like, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say. I'm sorry. Max? Hey. How are you doing? Better. Do you want to come to my house tonight? Just you and me? Uh, sure. Okay, cool. I'll see you in class, okay? Mm, yeah. Hey, Max? <laughs> Fine, whatever. What's wrong, Farah? I didn't think she would go this far to just kill herself. Not just that, but she got me in trouble. Like, I'm getting expelled, Julian. I understand. That's alright, Farah. Look, I think it's best that you go to a different school. Maybe even go to therapy. Ah, oh, this just isn't fair. Do you think if I apologize, they'll let me stay? You just need to get through today, all right? After this, you won't have to face anyone. I'm sure if you apologize, they'd still kick you out. What the hell is she doing? What do you want? What I want is an answer of why you were eavesdropping on me and my brother. Are you stalking us or something? Oh, here we go again. Can you just be nice for like a second? Do you even remember what happened? What you almost caused? You're the one to talk. What is that supposed to mean? You go around getting to everyone else's business. And not just that, you're just a burden all the time. You know what you should have done, Max? You should have just let her jump on her own free will. Maybe even gone with her. Stop. You didn't mean that, Farah. Maxine, you. Why are you defending her? Are you even listening to this bullcrap? She's my sister, Max. You do the same to protect someone you love. Don't talk to me from this day forward. Maxine! I'm gonna stop it right there. Mainly because a lot of people were really upset with this scene, and I un I understand why. It, um... Where do we even begin with this scene? Okay, so... Um, I don't know how to... Okay. So, uh, Julian is you know, honestly really protective of his family and his friends, but, you know, his sister, regardless of, like, what she says, what she does, he's gonna still try to protect her as much as possible, um, mainly because, you know, she has things going on in her life that most people 
you know, don't know about. And I wanted to go more in depth with that, like, storyline, but I never really did because I thought, mm, I just want to get rid of this character now. <laughs> um, but Maxine would have basically assaulted Farah, so keep that in mind, like, you know, Julian did, like, the right thing, and, uh, you know, that would have hurt, that would have hurt her, like, school credits, everything, um, and, I mean, Maxine has a right to be mad, but starting a fight is never, like, the answer to anything, <laughs> Um, and I really like Julian in this because you can tell, like, in his voice, like, he really cares for, like, Maxine, but, like, he had to, like, draw the line, you know, because, I mean, once you start punching, mm, like, it escalates there. Um, but, oh my god, I can't, okay, this is, like, where I really shipped Julian and Maxine was from this point forward. Like, this scene, like, initiated, like, me really wanting them to be together. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Max. Don't. Let me talk. I can't. Can't what? I can't. Breathe. Just breathe, Max. Deep breaths. It hurts. Knowing someone like her... Mm, I'm cringing so hard from my acting in this scene. Mm. Molly's one of my friends to where she wants to end her own life. Come here. I know you didn't mean what you said back there. I know Farah can be rude and harsh, but she is going through something too. She regrets what she did to Savannah. She just has a different- Savannah. <laughs> I didn't want to correct him, all right? So I just like left it. I thought it was adorable that he said Savannah. Like, <laughs> I love accents. <laughs> Way of showing it. She doesn't like her feelings shown to others because she thinks it makes her look weak. She didn't mean those words just then. I just... I just want it to all stop. I want her to stop. I know, Max, and she will. You just have to give it time. Why are you so nice to me? I just don't get it. I was so mean to you. Max, I know you and Peyton weren't together for long. And I hope you didn't have a lot of feelings for him because... I'm gonna pause it right there. So, he basically just said you guys weren't together for, my, for you know, long. And they weren't. And he hoped that she didn't really fall really hard for him. Which she didn't. Keep, keep that in mind. Like, she didn't, like, love him. You know, she just had, you know, liking of feelings, you know? And she wanted to develop more of those, but they never really had the chance to because he ruined it. So keep that in mind. Like, she didn't love him. And I know a lot of people were actually confused about that. They thought, like, Maxine really fell super hard for Peyton, but, like, that was, like, the opposite. Like, she just liked him and wanted to, like, get to know him more. And he ruined that, and she realized, like, who he really was. So, she didn't really have developed a lot of feelings towards him, if you know what I mean. I mean, I wouldn't either. Well, <laughs> this isn't easy for me to say, um, so I'm just gonna say it. I like you. I really like you. Julian, I just broke up with Peyton. I... You don't have to say anything.
I completely forgot that Ren saw that entire entire scene. But oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I shipped them so freaking hard. And I still do from like some points. But oh my gosh, I, I shipped them so freaking hard, dude. Like, I was literally about to, like, switch the game, you know? I was like, Julia Maxine, hmm, Ren who? Um, but, <laughs> you know, Maxine and Ren have a longer history. And honestly, they're still, like, the main ship of all time. But Julia and Maxine, man, like, ah! <laughs> I shipped them so hard. Uh, the scene was everything. Now, I know a lot of people were like, wow, he just up and like kissed her? Like, what? Like, is she okay with that? Obviously, she was okay with it. If she didn't, she would have pulled away. She would have maybe like mm, pushed him maybe or, you know, been like, hey, like, you can't just like kiss me like that, blah, 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 you know? She was just like, oh, that just happened. I'm going to look at you now. <laughs> You're pretty. Kiss me again, you know, kind of thing. So, obviously, they kissed twice, okay? Keep in mind, that's not her first kiss. Um, yeah. I mean, to, to, to them, that was their first kiss together, but not, like, you know, her first kiss. Obviously, Ren was her first kiss. <coughs> All right, well, our session is over. Make sure to go over page 134. Wait. Hmm? I think I should tell you something. If it involves your feelings, I don't want to hear it. Why? You're my student, Jane. Don't think I don't see what you're trying to do. What, me? You're crazy. I'm not blind. Jane, go to your seat. If I can't tell you... Can I show you? What? Jane, you can't... Stop it, Jane. This isn't appropriate. I don't care. I can't deny what I feel. You aren't that much older than me anyway. I'll be 18 soon. I care. I can't lose my job, Jane. No one has to know. Jane. Am I not good enough for you? It's not. So you do like me? No, I... Fine. Make up your own mind. Ugh. Jane. Alright, I know what people are thinking. I know what they're saying, alright? This situation is completely wrong and should never happen in real life. Yes, you are correct. I just want to go in more in depth of the details. I'm pretty sure I've said this a gajillion times. Their age difference is not a huge deal. He is in his early 20s. She's about to be 18. So, legally, they could date with parents' consent. And uh, obviously he, he would lose his job if they knew about it. Which, if you guys haven't seen like the episodes after, whatever, obviously he does end up switching like his job, whatever, and she switches schools completely. Like she goes to, <clears throat> spoiler, she gets pregnant and she goes to like a school that like helps with pregnant girls um and stuff that has like a daycare to watch the kid and whatever and she can do school there and not have to worry and you know he gets a better job at a different school area um so keep that like in mind uh because <laughs> i know some people were also worried about that and wanted to know where they went so i'm probably gonna have to explain that again in another episode but i don't say do this in your life like this is just you know, fake, 
Um, it's just part of the story. I, I don't suggest doing this in real life, though. Not one bit. Ren? What? I need you to not get mad, but, uh, she's here. What? Ren. What do you want? I... I wanted to see you. Why? You're my son, Ren. I don't want to see you. Please, give me a chance. You left me. Why should I even consider it? I... I have my reasons. I don't want to hear your damn reasons. <laughs> Whatever it was, it's not worth leaving your own son. I'm trying. Ren, please work with me here. No. Be grateful she's even here. George, don't. Why should I even be grateful for either of you? You don't even act like my parents. All you do is work, drink, work, drink. That's all you ever do. How can you say that you were even my father or my mother? Watch your tone. My tone? Don't even try to make me feel like a kid. I'm obviously not. Guys, calm down. I won't calm down. Then get the hell out of my house. Ren. You all right, son? Sorry for the noise, sir. It's all right. Can I? Of course, come on. I'm gonna explain to some. I'm gonna. Uh, to English. I'm going to explain something. So, obviously, his parents used to fight, like, a lot. A lot, a lot. And. Whenever they would fight, Ren would go to Tobias's house and, you know, he is basically more of a father than his actual father. And that's what I really liked about their relationship. Um, and I liked the fact that, you know, Tobias is, like, okay with still, like, having, you know, Ren come to his house and, you know, like, he's basically, like, taking care of him. And, uh, I'm still upset, like, that Ren's mom, you know, basically walked out on him and, uh, you know, she has, like, this issue with, like, not taking her medication, so that kind of makes her, like, crazy and bipolar and blah, 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 you know? I feel like everyone's parents have something wrong. <laughs> All right, let's continue. I'm making this way too long. <laughs> Are you going to grab your stuff before coming over? Yeah, I just need to tell my dad. Okay, I'll see you there. Dad? Is everything okay? I don't want you to be mad. Well, now I'm mad. What is it? Ren got in a fight with his parents, so I'm letting him sleep here tonight. You let him in the house? It's not like he's a fugitive. Maxine, you need to think about what he's going through, alright? What about me? Max, don't be selfish. Dad, he hasn't talked to me in years. He's been ignoring me. 
every time I try to talk to him and try to get over this fight, but it's impossible, especially with him. Max, look, the past is the past. I understand this is a difficult situation, but only if you heard what was happening. Ren comes from a broken home, and the least we can do is offer him a safe place to go when he feels his own home isn't safe. Were they really that loud? The whole neighborhood heard. <sighs> Fine. But I'm sleeping over at Maya's tonight. Oh no, you're staying here, Maxine. He needs someone right now, and you need to be that someone. He would do the same for you if the tables were turned. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm serious. Go give Maya a call and tell her you can't go over. <sighs> Fine. Ren? 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 M Max? Are you okay? <sighs> I don't know anymore. Wanna talk about it? I, I don't really feel like talking. Can you come out then? Sorry to be a burden. You've never been a burden to me. The couch downstairs isn't comfortable at all, but I do have a sleeping bag Ren can use. I better not hear or see any funny business, alright? Uh, of course, Dad. Alright, good night, kids. Mr. Lore. Yes? Thank you. Honestly, thank you for this. Anytime. And call me Tobias. No need to be polite. You still have that? Of course I still have it. It was one of a kind. Or is it because it came from me? Shut up. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Whatever. <laughs> You're still afraid of storms? Me? <laughs> no. Come here. Oh, uh, what? You aren't going to be able to sleep, are you? So? Come here. I'm sorry. Don't think that this is going to make me forgive you. I know. I'm just saying that I feel bad. Don't. What? Just go to sleep. Max. Good night. Before we get into this last scene, um, 
The last scene was really important because uh, I like the idea that Tobias is literally treating him like he's his own son, you know? And I, I love that concept and I like that relationship that they have. And the fact that Ren knows Maxine so much, he, you know, he's honestly like, all right, just come here, lay with me, and, you know, you'll feel safer. And that's another thing where I can really relate to Maxine is because I'm really terrified of thunderstorms. And it's one of those, like, mm, it's one of those, like, childish fears that I have, and it's, like, the worst thing possible and so many people like look at me like I'm insane for being afraid of thunderstorms when like that's like something a child would be afraid of and I like the, f the fact that I put this in here because not a lot of people have that fear I feel like and I think it's just cute the way that he was like come here like just get your butt over here lady <laughs> and uh I like the fact that he's, you know, trying to talk to her more, trying to apologize, and I like how she's just not giving a crap, you know, and she's just like, just go to sleep, like, whatever, and uh, honestly, the next episode, I, the next episode, I remember the beginning of it, because it's literally one of my favorite scenes of all time, if it's the right scene that I'm talking about. It's my favorite scene that I've probably ever written in this series. Ugh, it's so good. Okay, anyway, let's get back into the episode and finish this. You're so beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad we're together. Can I kiss you? Yeah. That, my children, is how kids were born. <laughs> or made, really, not born. What, what did I say? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But <laughs> I don't know why that scene made me laugh so much. It just did. Okay, anyway. Thank you to everyone who's helped me with this series so far. I really, honestly, do appreciate it. Um, I, just, I can't thank you guys enough. This series means a lot to me. And it's one of my favorite series of all time. And it's... I'm so like surprised that we've gotten to season three so far and I already have like even more seasons after that planned out that I want to do and I'm so 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 excited to share those with basically everyone and um yeah I don't I don't know what to say because like yeah the series is so good. If you guys are interested, I have merch. You can go and check out in the description down below. All my social media is down in the description down below as well. Um, but yeah, check out the season and catch up on everything before I explain it. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>